Hey fans and welcome back to another test video. So yes, it is the weekend, so you decided to request two 2v ones. So you're trying out something different, you're trying out Power Body. You know, Power Body is a very powerful guitar, and uh, you know I've been seeing it being used in a couple of people lately. So you guys are gonna go ahead and try your luck at it. So we have Reddit here with two different AIs, Goku and Cell, both with Power Body, uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and see how he does. So Reddit was pretty impressive in the. Uh, the recent West Kai 2v2 going up against uh, Ginyu, uh, you know, with his eternal life builds, kind of similar to Ginyu's, a little bit different, but no, no, he didn't have eternal life, he had Dendi's healing build, but still, pretty similar uh, fighting styles from both of them, they were both very impressive, so let's see if we can maybe uh, make Rats a little bit more flexible, a little bit more pliable, and have multiple builds, so starting off, we have Rats with Power Body, Top Force 1 Series, and Fighting Spirit with Goku AI. Going up against, of course, your max health, bubble beast, turn life, attack plus one, quick fast attack, serious TNAI. Can't have a test video without Spopovich. <laughs> so let's see if he still will stay the same, still combo really well, and uh, you know, hopefully use that power body to his advantage to hopefully get off uh, some combos and take out Spopovich. So. You know, if I, if I were like just looking at it from just stat wise, I'd probably say I would give the power body to Raditz because he seems like he's more flexible, more pliable than uh, Tarlis. You know, Tarlis has some things that, you know, some personal things that might hinder whether he can use uh, power body or not. Uh, I actually uh, asked uh, Squee if uh, it was legal to have both light body and power body in the same build, and he said that there's nothing against it. So, you know, if you guys want to go ahead and start testing out, maybe. Uh, maybe uh, turtle with both power body and line body, which kind of be like an ultimate body. I mean, it'll cost you five points, but uh, you know, it might be worth it in the end. So you can go like light body, power body, attack plus one or attack plus two, and uh, maybe like quick fast attack. This quick fast attack is like, technically better, you know? This quick fast attack is like attack plus one, technically. So, uh, you can either go with attack plus one or attack plus two and quick fast attack, which means that you'd be at a permanent attack plus two slash attack plus three. Or you can go with um, uh, serious, which means that you would start off at attack plus one or two, then go to 1.5 or 2.5, then two or three, then 2.5 or 3.5. Uh, so, you know, it's like deciding whether you want to go with like, like defense plus Defense plus two, latent energy, or just being at defense plus three all the time. So, yeah, you know, it's kind of like your choice, but it's a pretty close fight between these two. Nope, that was the wrong move, and it looks like Bobovic might be taking this right now. He's using that charge, charge out of his charge zone, he can charge the max power, resurrection, but that connects, wow. Oh, close to a win. <laughs> so I guess you could go ahead and try that. And fight again. <sighs> you know, it's like, yeah, we miss his squee, you know, just like, you know. Is that legal? I mean, what's the difference between having both light body and power body and having ultimate body, you know? Like, really, what's the difference? And he was like, yeah, it's exactly the same. The only difference is that it costs two slots. Like, ooh, because when you have power body on, that's totally what you're worried about is how many slots you have. Like, eh, huh? whatever. Yeah. I thought it was a fair exchange. It's like, oh, you're going with power body? Okay, well, then no light body, you know? But to have both of them, I mean, what's the point of, you know, you might as well just make Ultimate Buddy a legal Patar then. But, yeah, whatever. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if the booze would be tested it out. The only person we would even consider testing it out on is Majin Buu, just because he just likes Light Body. So, maybe test it out on his Power Body build and see how that fares, but, yeah. That's something that we would test not even close to recently. <laughs> we got a lot of other things to test out right now, so that's not even a top priority on our list, but, you know, eat it. <laughs> I was pretty smart at it. Uh, but, you know, since you're, of course, uh, you know, testing out Power Body right now, 
uh, you can go ahead and just do it for your weekdays. You know, weekends you get, you know, a couple more tests you need to do with weekdays. You know, I'm in college and I'm super busy. So, <laughs> you know, for like the next couple of days, you could probably be testing out how that will see. If you're, if you're impressed with how toilets will fare with power body and you think you might want to have power body in them, you know, maybe tomorrow you can have, you know, that build that I just suggested, maybe the, uh, the attack plus two, attack plus one, whichever one you want to go with for power body, you know, you know, it's kind of risky, even, because, you know, power body already gives you a defense minus, so with that stacking on top of the attack plus, uh, I mean, yeah, with the attack plus two, defense minus one, you'd be at, you'd be taking 10% more damage than you regularly would, and you'd be at defense minus two, uh, but, you know, it's risk versus reward, you gotta pretty much decide, you know, and especially since you've got these two melee layers here, now since you've got some good melee layers on your team, you've got to decide on how you want to build them and how you want to work around them. And then you also got to find, the, find out if they're flexible or not. You know, one of the main reasons why the Super Saiyans were so good last season is because every, almost everybody could do everything and, you know, it would keep your opponent on his, your, their toes because you would never know who's going to be doing what that week. Tell us, I mean, tell us that is just the official win. Pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty close fight, but he pulled it out in the end. So. Oh, that connected before he could get the good craft. There was a little bit of delay with it, so. Uh, pretty good Raditz. And will Raditz be getting uh, the actual win? He, he, he's slowly bringing Spoke a bench to that, uh, that actual win status. And get that actual win and bring this uh, to round three. Oh, let's go for bitch. Just wrap it up. No, nope, no. Nope, I think he's got it. No, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, he's got it. All right, good job. <coughs> so, it's up for you to decide whether you want to go with attack plus one or attack plus two on the power body build. And um, I would suggest quick fast attack. But if you want to go with serious, you know, your choice as well, and then just like on the, the light button and the power body, I would have to hack the game to get it because the game, they don't stack, and, you know, I would put light body and power body, you know, ultimate body, you know, you might act differently, and, you know, I can't officially say that ultimate body is illegal for Tara, so it has to be light body and power body. So I'd have to hack in and put that in, but you can go ahead and test that up and see how it does. Maybe just go up against Scope Reach, two different AI, unless... For your second video where you have Turles using Power Body, unless one of the eyes which is so much more impressive than the other that you don't even think that you need to um, have the other eye even AI compete. Oh, let's go ahead and get that. Oh wow, that was, that was pretty smart. Chase that after him. Goki AI did not doing bad, but he saw that Cell AI was putting in that work as well on um, uh, the other build that he had, doing a pretty good job, I and mean, doing a pretty good job in uh, uh, West Kai as well. So, we get to go ahead and see Cell AI, and we can go ahead and compare. A class warrior, that misses. I can't remember, what did he get for right round one? I think he got an official win, round one? I think, can't remember. He either got a loss, a close, I think he got close, either he got close to winning the official win, or a loss, but I can't remember, but I think it was the official win, then he got a win, so. actually I think he lost, because I think he got that Majin Buu Resurrection at the end, so yeah, I think he lost, yeah, he did, he did, he lost, it was close though, it was close, but yeah, he did lose. Even with that ultimate, taking that ultimate, he's still in the lead over Spokovich. Spokovich is beyond his last bar of health right now. Oh, he's so close to getting that official win. Even taking that ultimate to the chin, he's still close to getting that official win. So. Definitely using that uh, power body to his advantage. Going up to max power, he needs to be the one. At this point, any, yeah, any B2 connecting can officially end this. So, yep, both of be down, there's the official win. So, can he be a lucky skilled SOB and get an actual win? Another actual win? We're definitely hoping, deciding on whether he 
you go with Goku AI or Cell AI for this. Get Goku AI some brownie points. So I'm charging. We'll get that max power. Mad Banquet connects. Is that it? Is that enough to take him out? I don't know. I think I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, there was Goku AI, so. Uh, a close official win, a win, and an official win. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and see Cell AI. So, Power Body Attack plus one Serious and Fighting Spirit with Cell AI. Go ahead and compare accordingly. One thing I like about Cell AI, he gets behind him and gets in a nice melee combo. That Med Banquet connects. A little bit of extra damage for that defense minus one, and then turning into a rock, so I think there's a little bit more extra damage. Spokovic, that max power, Berserker Crash, connects. Wow, and Cell AI is getting it, and it connects for 10k so far. Stop Class Sorry, he misses. You know, with Power Body, Spokovic can't hit him out of it, but. He just kind of dodged it. You need to block it or dodge it, but you can't hit him out of it with Power Body. Definitely Spokovich keeping up. It's still a pretty close fight between these two, but Spokovich definitely keeping up with him. There's a present. Uh, Banquet. There's a present. Ouch. Can I come right into it, Spokovich? 7k. Be a pretty close fight between these two right now. Matt Banker misses. God, it's such an even fight. Same hold. And of course, you know, Raditz doesn't have any healing, must both have a ton of life. RC Clash. Lopovich wins it, Majin Buu Resurrection connects and it's over, and he loses, barely. Alright, go ahead and fight again. Let's see if you can get at least a win, you need a win to catch up to Goku AI. Dark class, Mad Banquet, High Speed Class, Raditz wins it, no follow up? Are you at least gonna follow up the move again? Here's a present, Long Distance, misses. Nice melee combo. We got a bar in the lead over Spokovich right now. Derp. Derp definitely changed around since, uh, you know, losing. They took up a lot of original players. You know, and I heard that they took off Supreme Kai. I was actually kind of shocked. I was like, what? Supreme Kai has always been good. Like, why? Like, okay, I guess. I mean, of course, they lost Raditz, but, you know, taking off Supreme Kai. A guy who was a great beat to a pretty good melee or had a transformation, you know, was one of the scariest ultimates in the past, and you just want to take him off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm too nostalgic with it. Maybe they, maybe they know something that I don't. You know, maybe it's like you guys with King Vegeta. Like, you know, he just seems like he does. Like, you know, if you need a melee, he can do it. If you need a B tour, he can do it. So I don't know. I don't know. He's not a one-trick pony like King Vegeta is. Nice, nice combo. Right. But I never. I, I felt like Raditz is never really meant to be on Dirk anyway. You know. Technically, to be on Derp, you'd had to you really done nothing in TV show. Like Goku wouldn't have died if Raditz, you know, if Raditz never showed up, if literally Raditz never did anything, and literally Goku just whooped his ass, then Goku wouldn't have died. So I'd say he didn't deserve to be on Derp. He did something, you know. He was the first person to technically get Goku killed. So, so 
I don't know. That's just my opinion. I, I, I always thought that though. I mean, even when that's just on dirt, I was like, why is Raditz on dirt? You know? There's a lot of other characters who did nothing in comparison. So I think it's close. Like, he's really close to getting that uh, actual win. He's the president right in the face. Use that power lighty to uh, not get hit out of his B2. Yep, and there's the actual win. So he's going to be taking it to round three just like uh, Goku and I. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now they have a devil man, huh? Oh, well, they have 19. 19 didn't do much, so I guess that's fine. Hercule, they have to have Hercule, so that's a given. Uh, let's be class. Salsa. Did Salsa really do anything? No, it's also in the movie, he didn't do much, you know. What do you do? Kind of like, what, pester Krillin and pester Kid Gohan, but he didn't really do much. You know, it was Cooler who was doing all of it, so, yeah, you can have Salsa. Who else is on their team? Who the hell else is on their team? I don't remember. Dodoria. Dodoria. I remember Dodoria. So, if I don't remember Dodoria, then he must have not done anything. I think he just got... I think he... Didn't he get killed by Vegeta? Real quick? With the quick quickness, I think so. So sure, you can have Dory as well. So technically, you know what? They shouldn't be able to have Supreme Kai either. Maybe that's why I took him off. I'd say he shouldn't be on Derp either. I mean, come on, Supreme Kai trained Gohan to Ultimate Gohan. He did a lot in GT as well, you know. So ah uh, nah, I'd say well, Kabito Kai. So nah, technically, I'd say you shouldn't get Supreme Kai either. But, you know, I'm not sure if they just decide, you know what, we shouldn't have him, or they just decide just to give him up. I, I know nothing about Derp, but... Oh, there's the official win. I don't know. I don't know. You know I'm not sure if it was a choice, or they just decided, you know what, give him up. Nor do I really care. I don't really like Derp anyway. Maybe they'll do better this season. Make it come on. Oh, they have their angel. I mean, come on. Make the blades pretty good. Oh, he got grabbed out of his top class warrior. Zerker crash? Ouch. I just think the computer doesn't know how to handle those moves. I think that maybe they think it's like a high-speed clash or something, and they try to get up in there and they just end up getting hit. Eh, it was close. So they both got a loss, a win, and an official win. So I'll leave it up to you guys to decide who you want to go with, and if you want to consider either one of them. So I hope that this test video was helpful. So uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, it's the weekend, so you still get one more test, so I'll get right on that. So thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me as a tester, and I will see you guys tomorrow. With the reduced again because we're back. It's back to uh, weekdays uh, with another test video. Thanks for watching.